Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator uh, to solve the correlation and regression questions. But over here, we will focus on the correlation coefficient first, which is the R value here. All right, we have a table. This table, we have some student and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G is just some different student name. All right, and then the student actually have different mark for exam X and exam Y. So just assume the full mark is 100. So this is like 65, 71, 82, and so on. All right, and then the question asks us to calculate the correlations uh, coefficient between value X and Y. All right, so basically you have two different formula to help you to find the correlation coefficients. But because uh, in this video, I want to show you how to use uh, the calculator to find. So I will prefer the second formula here because I think all this data is more calculator friendly because the calculator will actually tell you all this sum of x, y, sum of x and so on. Uh, but if you want to use the first formula, definitely you can do that and you definitely will get the same result. So this one is something like x minus mean. Mean you can get from calculator definitely. And then you multiply y minus the means of y and then you only plus all of them together. Same idea for the denominator. You need to use the x minus x of mean and then you square it plus all of them together and then you do the same thing for y and then you square it something like that. But over here, I will just focus at the uh, second formula. So I will just focus using this formula here. All right. Okay, so first idea, let me explain uh, what is this first. So n is basically like how many students you have in this case. So you just calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So your n value will be 7. And then what is the meaning of sum of x, y? So basically, it's like you need to form a uh, new table for x and y. Basically, it means the, uh, the value of x multiply value of y, something like 65. Uh, 65 multiply 70. And then you have something like 4550 and then this one is like 71 multiply 77 and then you will have about something like 55467 and so on so you have all these number you kind of like plus all the xy value then you will get the sum of xy all right this sum of x is very straightforward basically you plus all the x value here and then you will get sum of x all right and then sum of y is the same idea so sum of y basically means you plus all the y value here, you will get sum of y. All right, at the bottom here, this one sum of x squared is same value as this sum of x, but then you just square it. Same idea, you see a sum of y squared, basically same value with this sum of y, you just square it. But then this is sum of x squared is different. This one you kind of need to find uh, what is x squared. Something like x is 65, right? x squared is just 65 squared. And then you will get something like, 4225 like 71 you just do 71 square and then you will get about something like 5041 and then you plus all this x square number to so do the same thing for y square and then you plus all the y square number okay this is the idea of sum of x square and sum of y square here all right let's see how to use the calculator to get all this value so first thing is uh, i will go into the menu i look for statistic because this topic is under statistic so number six, you can type six here. And then I go for the y equals to a plus bx. Because this topic, right, in order to find the correlation coefficient, they want to know like, can this data actually form a linear pattern or not? And then the R value, right, if the R value is like below 0 0.8, a, we will actually assume the R value is considered weak. Is the R value between 0 0.8 to 1, we will assume the R value uh, which is strong when the r value is strong right you will get a sort of the linear pattern means all the coordinate actually will get very close to the straight line all right so and then you might get the negative r value also basically mean the the relationship between x and y is in the re negative relationships so same idea if the theta is below like negative 0 0.8 is considered very weak and then if the theta is like between 0 0.8 negative 0 0.8 to negative uh, 1 consider is very strong all right but over here i will not go and do too deep about uh, what's the correlation coefficients i just want to teach you how to use a calculator to find our value here all right so we go to number two here and then i will insert all my x value and y value so x is like 65 this one will be 71 
oops, 71, not 7, 71, and then 82, and then 60, and then 79, and then this one will be 66, this one will be 75. All right, then we'll go to exam Y, which is 70, 77, 81, 62, 72, 69, and then the last one will be 80. All right, then I will go into the option here. Okay, number three is three variable calculation. This is what we want to go into it first because we want to use uh, find all this data, which is sum of x, y, sum of x, sum of x squared, and so on. And then we will go into regression calculation, which is we want to find the R value and the equation of the uh, straight line. All right, so I go to number three first. All right, so from here, okay, just in case you do not know uh, what is your n value, I believe they even tell you what is n, n will, which is seven, how many students you have here. So you just insert n in, as a seven. And then here, sum of x, y, you just come down, and then you should be able to see sum of x, y, which is three, six, six, two, one. So three, six, six, two, one. Minus, this is sum of x multiply sum of y. Then I just go up to see sum of x, which is 498. So it'll be 498. And sum of y will come down here, which is 511, which is 511. All right, nice. Then I will just do a square root. And then this one, I definitely will put a bracket for it. N will be 7, right? And then I need to look for sum of x squared. So where is sum of x squared, which is something like 35812. So this one will be 35812. And then minus sum of x squared, sum of x, which is 498, right? So minus 498 squared. And then close the bracket. Open the bracket again, do the same thing for y, 7 first. And then look for sum of y squared. Sum of y squared, which is 37579. So which is three seven five seven nine, this seven, all right. And then I want minus sum of y square, which is five one one under it. So it's five one one square. All right. And then I want to know my final answer. Definitely later I will show you how to guess uh, the final answer. But here we can kind of do some cheat here, which is we go for regression calculation, which is number four. It definitely will tell you what is your R value. Your final R value should be 0 0.8214. Okay, and then we have some A and B. So it's quite straightforward. So if you see this the linear equation, you know B basically is the gradient of it. And then A will be the vertical intercept or you can call it some sort of like Y intercept. But over here, I will not go too deep uh, about what is the meaning of it, A and B. So I just want to show you about the R value here. Okay, then I will just go into the menu one to see whether all this data will lead to the, this final result or not. So in order to key in exactly the same, I will, I will type fraction first and then I will just insert seven multiply three, six, six, two, one minus 498 multiply 511. So for this one, you don't need to worry about bracket. Your calculator will always do multiply first, then we need to do minus. But the bottom, definitely I need a bracket for it. So we we'll do a square root, put a bracket. So seven multiply three, five, eight, one, two. And then minus 498. I will show you a way to type square. Because this, if like this, the calculator actually will square for this number only. Then only I close the bracket. And then open bracket again, calculator should be able to understand I want to do multiplication. All right, so seven multiply, three, seven, five, seven, nine. Yeah, make sure you don't type any number wrongly or else you need to redo whole thing. All right, so I type a square here and then close the bracket. Okay, it's exactly the same here and I type enter. Yeah, I should get exactly the same value here, which is 0 0.8214. Yeah, this is the purpose of showing you the whole video here because I want you to know first thing is how to use this formula. All right, and then eventually you can use the calculator to check your R value is correct or wrong. All right, like what I say at the beginning, if we get the value above the 0 0.8, right, this one consider is a strong value, but what is the meaning of strong value here? The strong value basically trying to tell you 
the student who score well in exam X is related to the student who score well in the exam Y. So you can see this is something I purposely to make it uh, look very strong because you can see if the student, that like student C, he gets like 82 in the exam X, right? He also get 81 in the exam Y. So it's kind of like I, I make the connection. If I want to make this number become uh, very low, right? I can like exam X, I will get 60. And then exam Y, I give it like extremely high than 92. And then suddenly this one is just like opposite. This one, it get very low, then he get very high. Then it, I, I might get a different value of R here. Because the purpose of R, they want to know like these two variables X and Y, do they have any relationships or not? So if I get the value is like above 0 0.8, right? Definitely means they are related and they are even highly related. Right, I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like five ringgit off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye